welcome to the workshop. Hi, I've just cut this piece of wood in half so I can show you how to make a half lap joint really quickly without any measuring. A half lap joint is where we remove half the material from the thickness of one piece, half from the other, put those cut surfaces together and we end up with a flush joint. What's so difficult about that? Well, you've got to measure halfway. What if you don't have a ruler? All you need to cut a half lap joint using this technique is a table saw and either a mitre fence or, as I've got here, a cross cut sled. First thing we have to do is find the middle of our component. And remember, we don't have a ruler or a tape, so how are we going to do that? I'm going to take a pencil and just roughly mark where I think centre might be using my finger as a fence. Do the same from the other side. Well, I wasn't exactly spot on. Let's go in between those lines and that's a good approximation of where the centre is. That's not quite accurate enough for our joint though, so we're going to set the height of our saw to just below that pencil line. With the component face down on the table or on the crosscut sled, move it up close to the teeth. Now you need to rotate the blade until you find the highest point in its travel. Now we raise the blade until we're just below where we gauged as being the middle. Now we're going to take two cuts, one with this face down on the table and one with the opposite face down on the table. Now you can see we've left behind a little piece of wood right in the middle of a component. We know it's right in the middle because we've cut from both sides. Find the highest point your teeth will go on the blade and raise your saw. Set it to the middle of the waste material that you left behind and that's good enough for rough work. You can now go ahead with stage two which is removal of all the waste for the half lap. But why not continue and do it accurately the way I do? Gradually increase the height of your blade and take passes on both sides until your waste material is as thin as a sheet of tissue paper. That'll be roughly between one and two thousandths of an inch and if you prepare your joint like that a single swipe with a smoothing plane will have all your edges flushed up even if you only intend to sand your joint that thousandth of an inch will easily disappear with a few strokes of paper so I raise my blade a little bit and cut again and very quickly I've got to exactly the right width I'm looking for. That's incredibly thin and if you look carefully you may be able to see that in a couple of places the tip of the blade has just broken through right in the corner. So that's as close to the middle as you're going to get. Now to finish preparing the joint we need to mark up so I want to remove this material here and this material here and I want my cut to extend at least the width of this material 
So I'll leave a little bit extra to clean off with a plane afterwards on here. Make a mark. And the same on this one. Leave a little bit of material extending over the end and make a mark. And now I can go ahead and remove all this material just by running across the blade on the table saw. Remember, don't change the height. <laughs> And the result is a lovely joint. Nice tight joint lines and nice and flush. So I'll glue that up. After a few strokes of the plane, there we have a lovely half lap joint. Super tight, lovely and flush, and without measuring anything. Next time you need a half lap joint, why not give this method a go?